Hi and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a filament review. Um, it's another filament from Filamentive and it's a bit special this one. I'll quickly show you the edge of the box. There you go. So let's see. Uh, this is copper material and what it is in a nutshell is 80% copper, 20% PLA. So it should print on bog standard PLA print settings. It also says that you can polish it once it's finished, so you can use a post process to polish it. So I've got a few tools lined up and we're gonna give that a try. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly open the box. The box comes obviously vacuum sealed. The spool obviously comes vacuum sealed, but I've opened it because you know I've been using it. And um, one of the things, I've just snapped it. One of the things you need to be aware of is it's very rough, the texture, the surface of this, obviously, because it's 80% copper. So. If you're going to get some of this, uh, make sure you've got a steel nozzle or a hardened steel nozzle. Don't try and put it through a brass nozzle in the printer because it will just tear straight through it. The other thing that came in the box was this nice filamentive brochure. If you remember last time I had to kind of like print out all the instructions and stuff. But this time it's all nice, colour printed, really cool stuff. Um, this one is ASA, so I'll just quickly show you the details. You'll probably see them if you pause it, if you're interested. But yeah, it's a really nice looking brochure. So yeah, they're moving forwards. So what we'll do is, I know you're all here to see the first layer print and the print go through. So we'll cut to that now and then we'll catch up in a minute. So that was the print. Um, as you can see, the first couple of layers were a little bit weird. I don't know if that's just the way that I have the um, the first layer set up in the bed level to like 100 microns because I very rarely print with PLA and I know some people like like I have it at 200. So that, that might just be my settings. But as you saw, as the print went up, it printed absolutely fine. It was great. You know, there was no problems. One of the issues I did have with this filament was after the part had finished printing, I tried to print another part and I found that the nozzle was clogged. So I just had to do a quick um, unblock of the nozzle and it was fine again. So, you know, you may have these difficulties, you may not, it may just be me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the workbench and we're going to try and polish this stuff up. So here's the printed part. And as you can see, it's uh, very dull. Now, according to the uh, to the brochure, this can be polished with post processing. So, I've got a couple of things I want to try on this. The first thing you've seen this before is the old-fashioned nail file. I use this on a lot of the 3D prints, and I'm just going to rub the top surface to see if we can get any kind of a finish on it. I'm not going to spend too long doing this because it could take a while and obviously there's going to be copper dust going all over the place so hence the gloves but uh, we'll give that a bit of a go um, that, that doesn't look like anything's happened maybe it has I don't know we'll go, go, go a bit more Um, not sure. Oh, can't quite see. 
Some, something's definitely happening to it and I don't know if you can see there's a bit of a glint in but uh, what I'm going to do now let me get rid of that is I'm going to bring this, uh, this this drill in it's like one of those um, what do they call them yeah it's got a brand name but I'm not going to say what it is this one was just a cheap one off eBay so it's running at uh, 3000 RPM it's a bit noisy apologise but it's got a polish and mop in let's give this a go Done anything to it? Well, it's definitely, definitely melted it. I think it might have been running too fast, or it might have been going a little bit hard. But uh, I'm not sure what's happening there. Not sure at all. Let's give it a, let's give it some more. Something is definitely hap oh something's definitely happening. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely got a shine to it, but I don't know. I don't know I don't know. I don't know if it's just the the filler plastic melting and becoming shiny or what. We'll try it just on a rough side. Maybe done something. I'm not sure. I found the best way to polish this is to use a blade like this. So what I did, I just put the blade flat to the back. As you can see, you get a nice shiny finish to it, but these bits here, you can really see the copper coming through. That's the only way I've found you can polish this, but this is the side that's in touch with the glass. Let's see if it works on this side that we've already tried to polish. No, doesn't work. So now we're going to see if this copper material conducts electricity. So I've got a multimeter here, it's on the Ohm's range and it's on the beeper. So we switch it on, touch the crocodile clips together. Okay, it's reading 0 0.7 Ohms. So I'm going to clip this to one side. Make sure that's tight, got to give it a fair chance. Okay, I'm going to clip this to the other side. You can see it's clipped on. Nothing on that range. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to the 20 meg ohm range and give it as much as, much as we can. And still open circuit. Does it conduct electricity? No. This is from the first layer of the print it's the uh, the outside skirt or the the, um, the purge strip or whatever you want to call it so it, it is literally one layer thick and one layer wide well for the purge strip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this conducts electricity because it might so we'll uh, clip that in the crocodile clips okay there we go and we'll just make sure that this beeps. Yep. 
and we clip this in the crocodile clips. Oh, just snapped it. Try again. It's between the crocodile clips. It's got a good hold. And nothing. So I'm gonna again juice that up with the 20 meg range. Still nothing. It definitely doesn't conduct electricity. So that was quite interesting. We've discovered that you can't use one of those high-speed rotary tools to polish it because obviously it creates too much friction and melts the PLA content. Um, filing it with a file, even though it was quite a, um, a smooth file, didn't really work too well on the top surface. I was quite disappointed in kind of like I thought that would have done something to it but it just didn't so if anybody out there can recommend a way that we polish this without putting it in a rumbler and by a rumbler I mean kind of like a, a disc with a whole load of brass inside of it that you have to then put this inside of and then it rotates on a motor for four or five hours uh, I'd be interested to know because that's the only other way I can think of polishing this stuff and I haven't got one of those um I don't even have the means to build one at the minute, or I would have built one and tried it. Uh, as for the electrical conductivity, that was a bit of a disappointment too. Uh, I would have certainly assumed that something that was 80% conductive material would have actually conducted electricity. So, not quite sure how the PLA mixes with it. But uh, it may completely surround the copper element and that that's obviously why so we've learned quite a lot about copper filled material um i could talk about this for the rest of eternity but i won't um what i will do though is i'll let you know that if you want to buy anything from filamentive.com they have released a discount code which will give you 15 percent off the code is steve any uk i'll put it in the description along with a link to the website and that'll give you 15% of anything you buy from filamentive.com. So that's pretty incredible. Thanks very much, Filamentive. I really appreciate that kind of stuff. So, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.